welcome back to my channel. So, it is 4.30 on a Saturday evening and I wasn't sure if I was gonna vlog today or not. I mean, honestly, I am not really up to anything. I'm not really doing much, but I figured, you know what? I really like the idea of trying to stay consistent with my vlogs. And so that if you are somebody who is here who watches my vlogs, that every Sunday, you know a vlog is going to be here for you to watch. So I got some things from Bath & Body Works and I figured I would share them with you over the past couple of days. So let me just talk about how I am when it comes to Bath & Body Works. I don't like a lot of scents. I don't like a lot of the normal body care. I like Bath & Body Works mostly for wallflowers and for candles. And then when it comes to any of the body care scents and stuff like that, that's typically give it to me for the fall and give it to me for the winter. I have, not even winter, for Christmas. Um, I don't know if I ever shared it with you all. I know I've shared it somewhere, but I have the Pumpkin Pecan Waffles body wash upstairs in my shower right now. And I am so, like I am literally smiling when I'm washing with it. It just is so, so good. I love it. I love it so much. And then I got Sweater Weather and I actually ended up giving that to Jordan last night because to me, as much as I love Sweater Weather as a candle, as a body wash, it is very masculine smelling. And so I let Jordan have that. He says he likes the way it smells. So, But I do want to show you what I got from Bath & Body Works. So I was there the other day, picked up, they had, and forgive me, my nails are not done. I need to redo them. But they had these on sale. Um, any of these like little small hand creams, they were on sale for a couple of dollars, $1.95, something like that. So I picked up two, one to keep on my bedside table and one to go in my purse. And then they also had buy two, get two free of wallflowers. And I actually have a good amount of wallflower plugs or refills from last holiday season. So I didn't really need to get much, but my scent du jour <laughs> is Vanilla Bean Noel. I love Vanilla Bean Noel to start off the holidays. So it's what I'm actually going to start putting in my house. I'll probably start them up today. I mean, it's November. Might as well say it's October the 28th, 28th. And I like Vanilla Bean Noel because it is a soft holiday scent, but it's not overpowering. And it's kind of like, it kind of just, when you walk into my house, if I have Vanilla Bean Noel going on, you're not going to be like, oh my gosh, girl, it's only in November. You're going to be like, oh my gosh, it smells so nice in here. It smells so Christmassy, but in a subtle way. So I got three Vanilla Bean Noels. And I think I still have one left over from last year. So I got a hair stuck on my nail. So that works. And then I also got to put in our bathroom, mahogany balsam, which if you haven't ever tried, first of all, mahogany teakwood, girls, you know. But if you haven't tried any of the other mixes that mahogany balsam, or excuse me, that they'll do uh, the mahogany teakwood with, they are usually so, so good. So this to me is like, this smells like Christmas, but not in a way that my husband's gonna be like, why? Um, this actually really smells good. So I've had this before, I feel like as a wallflower or as a candle, I can't recall. Um, so I got, I got that one. And then I don't need my favorite scent from Bath & Body Works, aside from Vanilla Bean Noel, is Fresh Balsam. But that is one that I pulled out for December. So that one is, you know. The other thing that I got, and this is one of the reasons aside from getting that cream that I went in there. So my daughter sent me a TikTok where somebody was showing that they have these black Santa and Mrs. Claus wallflower plugins. And I was like, say less, I will be there because I love a black Santa. And so I went and I got him. He is the cutest and I don't like paying for these at regular price. I usually will wait till I have a reward, but um, this is $16.95 and I saw on my app that I was close to earning a reward and I was right because this purchase put me into where I could get a reward. So I was like, great, because I wanted the Mrs. Claus too, but I said, you know what? I'll wait until 
I have a reward because the reward is usually for any item up to $16.95, which is right on time. And so I was like, I'll wait and I'll get that for my reward. And so today, um, I got the email last night that today they were going to do body care is $5.95. All body care items, $5.95, which is about the price that you're going to see around Black Friday. Um, if not Black Friday, you'll see it like really close to the actual holidays. And I don't like, like I said, I don't really like a lot of the scents. So I don't really, I don't spray the scents as much. Every now and then I might want a seasonal scent. Like sometimes in the summer, I like a beachy scent, but that's just mostly for actually taking a shower with. I don't necessarily need the lotion or any of the other things. Um, I have some, but it's not like, oh my gosh, I gotta go to Bath and Body Works for this. I'm not that, that's not where I'm at. So I knew that I wanted the Vanilla Bean Noel, but when I was in the store the other day and they were buy three, get three free, I was like, that doesn't work for me because that's not a good deal because I don't need six Vanilla Bean Noel items, for example, and I just don't, I don't use it enough to be able to make that make sense. So today with the Bean 595, um, which is really good because like this, for example, is originally 1795. I got the Moisturizing Body Wash, which is really good. And I was having a hard time finding this at first, but they didn't have this with like the display that was on the wall. They had this in a different display that was in the center, but I was glad that I found that. But I also got, because you know, we're gonna drive it home. I got the regular body wash. I will use this probably up by the end of the year because um, it smells that good. And I don't like a lot of the other scents. Like I don't want to take a shower in Twisted Peppermint or the warm, what is it, winter candy apple or whatever like that. That's just, it's not me. But I did get this, um, another moisturizing body wash. It's called Pure Wonder. And honestly, I still don't know what I can, I don't know how I would describe it. Like a soft soap, like a, like a, it smells like a soap, but mm, I can't quite put my finger on it. So maybe I'll let you know after I've used it a few times. I really don't know, but the packaging is nice. And anytime that you can get the moisturizing body washes, I feel like they're just a better bet because they cost more. This one was $18.95 normally. By the body works. Y'all need to get it together. $18.95 for that. See how it wouldn't make sense if you did the buy three, get three free? Because like they're gonna take the highest items. And so let's say you got three different things like of, of this type of style. And then you got like the ultra rich body cream that would have been in that this higher price point, like $16, $17. This one is $15.95. $16 for this? I remember when this thing used to be like 10 bucks. Maybe not 10, 12. But still, so this is 16. Like, think about think about how that adds up. To me, unless you are buying a bunch of gifts or whatever, like, or you really have a lot of people in your life that really like the scents or I don't know. I just, think, I just think the buy three, get three free is oftentimes not a good deal. Um, and I'm sorry that if you're seeing this today, which you'll be seeing it at least Sunday on, this is no longer a deal. I apologize for that. However, I did go up on my Instagram stories and I shared this today in case anybody wasn't aware of the deal. And honestly, I don't want to be saying that you have to follow me on every single platform. But I think that if you want like the most up-to-date day-to-day things honestly probably Instagram would be your best bet because I post on my stories on Instagram anyway the other thing I got free with my reward is the Mrs. Claus and I just think they're so so cute to look at them look at the little couple I love them so much Mwah. anyway so that's what, that's what I got from Bath and Body Works I think this is our first year living here so I think that we're going to have a good Halloween presents because a lot of houses have decorated their outside for Halloween and there's a lot of little kids. So I went to Target today. And I bought lots of candy. And I guess, you know, there's nothing like going to Target the weekend before Halloween trying to find candy and thinking you're going to find a good amount of candy. So I got I got this bag of candy mostly because it had Reese's cups and I wanted one. <laughs> and then I got, you can't go wrong with Skittles and Starburst. From my experience having my kids and just in general with kids, 
Kids don't really like chocolate like that. Like it's adults who like the chocolate. Kids like the fruity, fruity ones. So I got those, but I also got this. I was running out of options, but I got this mostly because it has a Snickers in it and I can have the Snickers. Um, but I think this should be enough for my neighborhood. I hope it's enough for my neighborhood. I mean, it's not that big, but then again, like we're attached to another neighborhood and I have no idea how many kids are in that neighborhood. So, and hopefully we have a good enough turnout so all this candy gets out of the house. So I did go to Target and did that today. And then let me show you what else I got from Target today. I don't know if I share this on here on YouTube. I share things all over the place. I don't remember, I can't keep up. But in somewhere I shared <laughs> some, maybe it was, I think it was. I think I shared that in my Target, my most recent video, which was my Target Christmas shop with me. And my local Target, when I first, when they first started putting out this stuff uh, a week and a half ago or so, excuse me, um, they had this mug. And then I went back. I didn't pick it up then, should've, but I didn't. And then I went back and it was gone. And it's been gone from my local Target ever since, but I was in a different Target this time. And this is $5. And it's so cute. Do I need a Christmas tree mug? No, but I like my holiday mugs. So, and when we do our hot chocolate bar, we all like to drink out of the mugs that we have. So our special holiday mugs, like I have my Santas and the thing is, like I think I'll just put it in here for now. I really need to go through my mugs. Can you even see this? Let me, let me see. I really think it's probably time for me to go through some of these mugs and get rid of the ones that I don't love. Now, first of all, if you didn't know about me, I am obsessed with The Office. It is my favorite show. I can't say my all-time favorite because I have like 10 favorite shows, but it is in the top 10. So Dwight Schrute is my favorite character. And if you know, you know. So again, this is another Dwight themed assistant to the regional manager. You only know, again, you know if you know. And then, um, let's see, I have these, I don't know why I even still, some of these I really don't know why I still have. Um, I just have had them since like forever. So I've had these forever. We don't even really use them. I don't drink coffee at home like that anymore. So there's no real need for them. I think I need to go ahead and, you know what? I'm getting, I'm, I've had this for so long. Does it tell me when this was made? I don't even know where I got this from. This seems like something I would have picked up like in the end cap or in the when you're waiting in the, um, the line at TJ Maxx or something like that. Um, but yeah, or Kohl's or something like that. Trista, I don't know. But I think that I'm going to get rid of those. I really want one of those espresso, I want an espresso machine, I mean, well, let's be real. That's what I want. I want an espresso machine. And I think that once I get one, I will drink my coffee more and I'll drink Starbucks less. This is from Hobby Lobby, I think. I don't know. Let's donate that. Uh, this is also, this is from Hobby Lobby. Can I reach? And this is from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to donate those too. Got love an impromptu decluttering session. Um, I don't know if I want to get rid of those. I think James Nessie doesn't like this one. I used to use this all the time when I used to take my coffee with me to work. Um, but I don't do that anymore. So, I don't know. Does anybody want to drink out of a used Starbucks cup though like that? Let me know down below. Let me know because I have no idea. But this one, is this from, I feel like this is a Hobby Lobby too. I've had for a few years. I don't drink, I don't. And I used to have a thing where I would display my mugs. I'm not getting rid of this one because fall is my favorite color. These are from Kirkland's from over the years. Um, I usually just use for decor, but as you can see, they got like little scuffed up. I think I'll get rid of those. They're dirty on the inside. I need to wipe those out. Um, this one I used to drink out of, I've had this for years, but like how the inside, I don't drink tea. See, this is 2012 from Target. <laughs> I don't drink tea. But when I do drink tea, like if I need green tea or something like that, I always just drink out of here. I 
do not have a reason as to why. But I'm keeping this because this is my tea mug. And then I got this from Walmart, I believe. This was like literally just for decor. Yeah. What year was that? Did it tell me? I don't see a year. But it was $3.98. And I have it just for decor, but I don't, you know. This is one of my first, where did I get this from? I think, you know where I got this from? Zulily. Have you ever shot from there? This is so old. Um, but I used to drink this in the mornings, on my weekend mornings when I was drinking my coffee and working on my blog. And then, I don't know if you've ever been, you know those places uh, where you can make things, like you can paint it and stuff like that. So this was a gift to James from the kids for a Father's Day. So we are not getting rid of that. And then I'm not getting rid of this one either. This is from Target. Um, Target 2021, 2021. But I love that one. So that's a big difference. I could probably put, I, I'm lying. I was gonna say I could probably put all of my Christmas mugs in there, but I can't. They probably wouldn't fit. I would have to do up here. And now that, can you see that? I don't know what you can see. No, hold on. So that means you couldn't see when I was talking about the Starbucks either. But this I used for water bottles, like for the kids that, I don't know about you, but do you always just lose them? Do your kids lose them? What happens to those? They're like socks. Like what happens to them? They go away. But anyway, this is the mug I was talking about that James is like, he doesn't really love. Let me go ahead and get rid of that too. And then I can't reach those in my, I don't feel like going to go get the, um, what's it called? Set stool. But look, that's what I'm gonna do. So all of these mugs are going to find a new home. They've served me well. I just, honestly, I just don't drink coffee like that. Not like that anymore. So yeah, we're gonna get rid of these mugs. And then maybe I will find, maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'll, I can put my holiday mugs up at the very top and then I'll always just have them out versus being in a bin. So we'll see. Also from Target, let me go ahead and show you these. Now I got these the other day. And again, this is something that I do share on my Instagram stories. So you won't, unfortunately, if you're seeing this now, this sale is already over, but I still wanted to show them to you. So I love a holiday, <laughs> I love a holiday piece of jewelry, okay? Like, I love my Santa earrings. I like all things like that. So, I mean, y'all know me. Like, I'm wearing a pumpkin shirt today. Like, I like these things. So anyway, these were 30% off. The sale ends today, but I will have these linked down below in case you are interested. But this is like a little Santa and Mrs. Claus, like, mug um, stud earring. And then I have these stud earrings of Mr. Santa Claus. I also, um, my local store didn't have the um, Nutcracker one, but I ordered those for pickup. Well, I ordered for pickup, but then that order, they said they didn't have them in stock. So then I'm going to get that shipped to me. So, but I wanted to share these because I have some from last year that are a full Santa. Um, and so I just love them. I love my, I love my holiday festive earrings, but I wanted to share that in case you are interested. I mean, just look at that. He's so cute. Look at the detail on that. But yeah, and of course it comes in um, the Caucasian skin tone as well. And then I also got, they have a little necklace with a Santa on it. That one um, I got, he he only, it looked like he only came in Caucasian. So I don't care. I have, I have other Santa earrings that I was wearing the other day. I don't care. I like Santa. I just do. So part of me wants to go ahead and make this, even though I'm not even hungry for anything. But I don't know if I should do this tonight or maybe tomorrow um i was gonna make oven ribs but it's a little late in the day now to make them because they take a couple hours in the oven but i kind of want to go ahead and make this but at the same time like i'm not hungry and so maybe i'll just make it next week but next weekend is my birthday it's my birthday and jordan's birthday we are one day apart and 
I know he's not going to want this. I might get him a cake from someplace versus me trying to make something, but I want this. So maybe I'll let this be my birthday cake. Should I make this now? It doesn't take much. Ugh, I'm not in the mood. I don't know. It'd be nice for content, right? But I'm not, I'm not in the mood. I don't think I'm going to make that today. I might make it tomorrow. Um, after, either before or after I make the ribs. And that'll be my birthday cake for the rest of the day. I need to talk to my mom. I need to check. Let me, you know what? I need to call my mama. We need to make plans for what we're doing for my birthday next week. I have some bags to put those in, but I feel like we need to talk about my friend, Brittany Jean. So I got this book. It came out on Tuesday. I got it on Wednesday. I finished it on Thursday. It's a short read. When I looked at the Audible, I think that the Audible says it's about five hours, which is actually pretty short for most memoirs. Most of the ones that I've read or listened to are about eight, nine hours. Prince Harry's was like very, very long. Um, and she's not the one doing the reading. So I decided to get the physical book. Plus I have Jessica Simp Simpson's physical book and I like Jessica Simpson, but I love Brittany. So I'm gonna, I was like, let me buy the book. Plus, every time I turned around, I couldn't open Instagram without E! News posting something new or something about the book. And I'm like, can you just give people a chance to read the book? Nobody's had a chance to read it yet. You won't stop posting about it. It just came out. Give us a moment to read. It's different from like being a teaser. Like, there's one thing to be a teaser before the book comes out. But once the book comes out, give people a chance to actually read it. So I've read it. And I'm not going to spoil anything for you. I mean, if you are a Britney Spears fan and you followed along, you know most of, like, you know the trajectory of things that's happened in her life. But I want to say that if you, I guess if you're like an anti-Britney person, which I don't see why you would be, but that's my opinion. But if you are anti-Britney, then maybe you wouldn't want to read the book. But if you are one of the people, if you were part of the movement, the Free Britney Movement, then I think that you would love to read this book. It's a quick read. Um, I've seen lots of TikToks, lots of commentary about the book. And what I will say is this. Uh, I can't say much without going deep, without like, look, if you want to have a book club about this, <laughs> we can have a book club about this. I really, really, really like the book and I think that you should read it. Um, I walked away from the book feeling very angry on her behalf as if you weren't already angry because if you know the story, you watch any of the documentaries, like it's already, you know what I mean? But it's like, it just makes you so angry. It makes you so angry. Um, and it gives you a lot more perspective as to the why she is the way that she is. Good book, worth the read. Um, I don't read, I mean, I do read memoirs. I actually prefer to listen to a lot more memoirs for, via Audible than I do like to read them. But um, like I said, if I'm going to listen to your Audible, I want you, the person who, if, if it's your life that you're writing about, I want you to be the one to read it. But I fully understand why she did not. Um, I think that when you, <laughs> I think that when you read this book, I think you'll understand so much more about Britney. I think you really will. Um, makes my heart break for her. I used to want to go to her show in Vegas back when she was doing her residency. Now, after reading the book, I'm actually really glad that I never went. I was able, not able to make that work out because I would have wanted, I would have wanted the Britney who we love, I would have wanted her to perform, not the Britney who is being forced to perform. Um, that's one thing. The other thing is I actually wanted to see Britney when she was on the, what was the name of that tour? Oh, was it called Onyx or Me Against the Music? It was the album that had Me Against the Music, the one that she did with um, Madonna, that song on it. I was in college. Um... And she had her line of concerts and she was doing, she was going to come to Raleigh. I went to ECU, which is in Greenville. And she ended up having to cancel the last leg of her show, which we were, we were in that last leg. 
because she busted her knee on a video set, so she had to heal from that. So I'm always gonna wish that I had seen her then, like when she was, when she was Britney, you know what I'm saying? Before, before things really took a toll and took a, uh, a drastic turn in her life. But anyway, I wanted to share that. The other thing I was thinking, I need to look it up, but Colleen Hoover, I mean, you, you busted out book after book after book. I need another book from you, girl. Where are you at? What's happening? Let me, I need to Google that because I really, I really miss, I was in at this, at this point last year, I was like deep into my Colleen Hoover phase. Like everybody else must have already known who she was and she has had lots of works, you know, but I guess she got TikTok famous. I'm not even part of book talk, but when I first read, uh, so my first, I don't know how we're going on a book talk, but here we go. My first Colleen Hoover book was Verity. And I'm not into that type of genre of story. Like I don't like thriller, suspense, anything like that. But I liked Verity. And I only read the book because a podcaster that I listened to, they were talking about the book and how they were going to do like a little book club. And I was like, okay, well, I'll, I'll get the book and I'll read it along because everybody was talking about it. And so I read the book. I actually read it twice back to back. Like I finished it. I was like, and start over um because it was that good and that led me into okay well what do i want to read next of hers and that's when it begins with us or it ends with us it starts with us or it begins with us don't quote me um and then i read those which i'm so glad that i read them in the timing that i did because by the point that i started reading her books it the sequel book which i can't remember right now the second book in the series was already out and I didn't have to wait for her to write that, that book the way that people who read the original book did because that book, it was like a year, a couple of years, I think, between the time that the first book came out and the second book. So, and that started the thing because I was like, oh my gosh, I love this. And that's what started my um, journey into Colleen Hoover. And I feel like I have read everything except for maybe two of her books that I could not find. Um, the last book that I read of hers is the one that most recently came out. She wrote that one with Taryn. I think her last name is Fisher. I don't know why she co-wrote the book with somebody else, but I didn't like that book. It wasn't, it wasn't, no. It wasn't the same level of books that her other works are, but I've, I've read and I've loved almost everything Colleen Hoover. Um, there's been a couple of books that I don't like so much. Layla is one of those books. I did not like Layla. I don't like the spooky stuff. Like, I'm not, a, like, and it went into that category. I don't like that. I like, I like love <laughs> and romance and, you know, and anyway. So I figured I would share that really quick. Um, my little thoughts on the Britney book. Um, it's been a while since I've actually read a book. Like, I've been listening to more of my books on Audible lately. And so it was nice to, like, just kind of block everything out and read, which was really good. But yeah. I am going to block everything out now and write and get that post up. And I just wanted to say thanks so much for watching. I hope that you didn't mind that this was a chatty vlog that I didn't really have a lot going on. Um, Cause I mean, it's like, I'm not always moving and grooving and shaking <laughs> all the time. My skin is a mess. My skin is like flaring up. I don't know why I'm getting like all kinds of acne. So I don't have on any makeup. I need to go and like put on some patches I don't know what's going on with my skin, y'all. It's, it's really annoying. I know I need to clean my makeup brushes. It's probably number one. So I probably should do that tonight, make that a priority. But tomorrow is Sunday. And tomorrow I plan to start decorating. And I won't be sharing that decorating until, of course, next week is November. But my goal is to get as much done as possible tomorrow. And then Monday I have my second round of mammograms. Did I talk to y'all about that? I don't think I did. Let's talk about that real quick. Because it was my first mammogram, the, the nurse or the healthcare provider, I don't know what her title was, who was doing it, um, explained to me that, you know, if it comes back asked, saying that they wanna see you again, do not allow that to scare you. Don't be alarmed. That is normal. Um, it may mean that they see something on one side that doesn't match something on the other side and just don't, don't be alarmed. And I was like, okay, 
Well, of course, I got the, the request stating that I want that they want to see me back. But we are going to be going, excuse me, live with decorating in full effect starting next week. Um, I think I said that I was going to maybe do another shock with me video. I don't know that I will. I just think what I'm going to do is I did get a few more things from like Hobby Lobby and stuff like that. Um, so I think I'm going to share what I got from Hobby Lobby and whatever else that I've picked up, which hasn't been much, but whatever else I've picked up, I'm going to share that in another uh, Christmas decor haul. Okay. And then after that, everything else, with the exception of a vlog here and there on Sundays, is going to be Christmas decorating with me. And I have lots of spaces. I'm trying to decide how I want to break up my videos, but I got my main tree. My daughter's coming home next weekend for our birthdays. Um, I probably will do... What I'm going to try to do is do a weekly vlog and have that go up on Sunday. So that way I'll vlog my thoughts and stuff like that from... Monday from my appointment, anything that happens throughout the week, my birthday, um, Jordan's birthday, and then I'll have it go up on Sunday. But we'll be doing uh, decorating the main tree, we have the living room, we have the entryway, we have the kitchen, we have the dining room, we have the mudroom, any bathrooms, we have our bedroom, kids' bedrooms. There's a lot to decorate. <laughs> so my goal is to get, it might be a lot of videos, but my goal is to get everything up before Thanksgiving, of course. Um, probably do a Christmas home tour after Thanksgiving. And then I plan to do some version of Vlogmas. So either 12 days or 25 days. We'll see how it works out. Um, but I, I do want to do Vlogmas this year and yeah, and then I have house tours still that'll be going up, but those probably won't go up until after we get through this blitz of sharing Christmas decorating. So I hope that you're excited for that. I'm excited. Um, YouTube is a funny thing. I don't know what's going to work and what doesn't work. I don't know what's going to take off and what's not going to take off. I really don't know, but I'm just going to keep posting and... Eventually, people will discover me and hopefully fall in love with me and will like my content and subscribe and all the good things. So if you like my content, make sure that you're subscribed and leave me a comment down below about whatever I've shared today. Have you read the Britney book? Are you a Britney fan? Um, do you need to declutter your mugs? <laughs> um, do you have trick-or-treaters in your neighborhood? Are you handing out candy? Um, I so miss the days of taking my my kids trick or treating. That that time, that's such a such a fun fun time. But now we're we're past the age that stage, and now we are the house that will gladly hand out the candy, and I'll be so excited to see all the little kids in the little costumes. But anyway, I hope that you have a great rest of your day or night whenever you're watching this, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.